All right, so welcome to the week six main lecture. Uh, if you look at the syllabus, take a quick look at that. We spent some time so far with the very artistic side of things in terms of drawing. We're going to continue artistry, but this time now uh, in terms of uh, ideas. And if I zoom in here, we can see in the syllabus. So just to kind of plan things out, um, at the end of the month, we have spring break. So if you look at the calendar here, the final week of this month from the 25th Monday to the 31st. So the final week of this month will be spring break, no class, um, no homework and such on that final week. But before that, we have things to do. We're on week six, then we have six, seven, and eight. So these two weeks that are coming up, as I've said before, we, we have two weeks on a topic and there's usually gonna be the, uh, you know, do something how I want you to do it. And then it's, uh, then you do your version. So uh, this particular week, we've got this stuff about concepts of writing and plots and brainstorming and such with, an, with the homework that will reflect that. And then next week, continuing on these things. Then a midterm project, which will not be revealed yet. When we get closer to it, I will. But don't worry about that yet. So we've got these two weeks on plots and such ideas. Uh, there's already been a little bit of that that you've done on the previous weeks when you did your original character. It was asked in there for you to uh, write a little bit about your character, and, and you all did. You wrote a little bit. Good. Then when you did the assignment, as you're doing the assignment, that is, that's due tomorrow, on the uh, environments, there was also a little bit in there about please also write uh, a little bit about your background your world or whatever, put a little example there and most of you are doing it. So you've been doing a little bit of writing and basically characters plus worlds plus idea equals success, equals a story, equals a, a video game, a, an animation, a movie, whatever. Those three things coming together add up to the full result. So the idea part of is, is what we're looking at today, plot, stories, writing. And let me ask you in the chat. Also, this is going to be a very interactive thing, so be be ready to respond in the chat, please. Um, I've asked the version of this before with drawing, but now with writing. Let me ask you, how many of you feel you're good at writing? You like writing? Maybe you're not so good, but you like writing. You want to explore. How many of you are not really into the writing side of things or not feel comfortable with it? Just give me a kind of a range of one to 10 or whatever. One, you're not good at it. And 10, you're writing novels, uh, whatever you want to say. Tell me in the chat, how many of you are kind of into writing? However you define that. Do you like writing? So answer that in the chat just to get a little bit of feedback from people. And so we're saying some numbers and such high numbers there with writing and the love. Very good. Okay with it and such. Good. So... We've got uh, leaning towards, I like it, or I'll do it, or I'll try it. Not many responses at the moment of, no, I, I don't like it. And that's fine if you don't. Uh, but the next two weeks, the next two assignments will be a little bit focused on the writing of things more than the drawing of things. Well, if you're not as good as you would like to be on it, we're going to cover today the things that will be like uh, like the cheat code, the uh, the the secret techniques to get good at it faster. If you are already in the seven, eight, nine, ten level, you'll probably still learn some things or reconsider things that you thought you knew to further strengthen your writing. And we will see, um, and we will see that we'll be able to do what we need to. And again, because in this class, you you really have to imagine you are an animation studio or a game studio. You are everything, the president, the CEO, the writer, the artist, the animators, the voice actors, all of that. That's a lot on your plate for one person. And so another thing to add to your plate is the writing and the story. So this particular week, if we look at, if, if you all go to the canvas and go look at the week five resources here, we'll use this for, as our lecture. The five W's and the hero's journey. Tell me in the chat if any of that sounds familiar. Have you vaguely maybe heard of the five W's? Have you heard of the hero's journey? Tell me what you know about it in the chat, yes or no. So the five W's are often related to journalism or 
writing a, a news article, but we can see how they can apply to us as a story. And then the hero's journey is a very classic way to break down um, literature in pieces because the, the best thing, see like this, this is the best thing and the worst thing, a blank sheet of paper. It's the best thing because I can do anything here, writing, drawing. But it's the worst thing because where do I start? How do I even begin? So to help combat a little bit of the where do I start, we have two things here that will help us, which will tie into the assignment. I'll get to the assignment in a moment. And so right here, maybe you might have heard it in an English class. Most of you are saying no, some of it vaguely familiar. Okay, well, that's what we're here for. So if you want to follow the Wikipedia article here, I'll also put it in the chat. And I'll show it here in um, class. The five W's is a checklist used in journalism or story writing to ensure that the first paragraph or the lead contains all the essential points of a story. So we're going to take this that comes from journalism, from newspapers, from articles, but we're going to take it and apply it for us for story writing because it has some very good starting points. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay, if you had not heard of the five W's, maybe did you hear the version of it of who, what, when, where, why, and how? Tell me that in the chat. You didn't know five W's? Did you know these things in writing? In modern times, journalism students are still taught these things. They were invented at least 100 years ago. That are the fundamental six questions of writing. Reporters use these five W's and H to guide research and interviews to raise important ethical questions such as, how did you know that? Well, for the writing of it all, here's how that's gonna matter to us. You're gonna make an idea for your character. One starting point is the this checklist. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So here's how we're going to get interactive. Uh, in the chat, tell me right there your most favorite movie ever. Tell me in the chat your favorite movie. Then we're going to see how we can take these five W's and H and break down that movie into these pieces here. Because this amazing movie, two hours long or whatever, if we can break it down into these pieces, then we can fill in the details. So let's see some feedback here. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. We got some Wes Anderson fans over here. Godzilla, which one? There's 1952 Godzilla. There's the uh, 1998 Godzilla. There's the brand new one. Oh, what's it called? Prime Godzilla, Mega Godzilla. I don't know. The Super Bar Bros. movie from the 90s. Amazing. Or are we talking about the new one that came out? The new one. The new one, yes. Specify. Spirited Away. I, I know it as Sento uh, Chiro no Kamikachi, but sure, spirit away, sure. And we've got Wally, that's a good one. Uh, Avatar of Pandora, is that the new one? Isn't that the way of water, or which one are we talking about? Then we got Iron Man, which one? There's like three of them. And then we got Plague, Do oh, Plague Dogs, that's a, that's a classic one that will traumatize people. So which one do we want to look at? Let's look at Fantastic Mr. Fox first for a bit. So... I never saw it, but I want to because I like Wes Anderson movies, but I just haven't gotten to it. So, oops. so for those of you that have seen this movie um, or know a little bit about it, let's break it down a little bit. Test it, Mr. Fox. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Who is the main character? If you know it, put it in the chat. What is the main character? I'll just say MC. What is the main character's goal in the movie? When does it take place? Where does it take place? Why does the main character want that goal? And how do they go about reaching that goal? Well, whatever your movie was, take a moment to think of these five things, and then we'll discuss... How do they go about getting the goal? So whatever your movie was, Spirited Away, um, Wally, Avatar, 
start to think about it in your mind or write it down or whatever in the chat, uh, some of these of the who, what, where, and why of, of that particular movie. So Batman, which one, 1989, let's say, uh, or the Batman Forever, or uh, which one? So lots of them. Uh, so the same sort of idea there. If we take these various characters, so I'm going to go over to, I guess, Wikipedia, Internet Movie Database, whatever. And I'm going to see if I can find some of this information. What's that? Yes. So for Mr. Fox, put a few right here. So I would suppose the main character is Mr. Fox. Again, I haven't seen it, but I can see the details online. Get this out of the way, side by side. So those are the items. And fantastic Mr. Fox. It's a 2009 stop motion animated comedy film directed by Wes Anderson, who co wrote it. The film is based on the 1970 children's novel by Roald Dahl. The cast includes, etc. The plot follows the titular character, Mr. Fox. Okay, so I would answer here for this particular movie, the main character, Mr. Fox. What is the goal? Let's see. Um, the plot follows this character as his spree of thefts results in his family and later his community being hunted down by three farmers known as Bogus, Bunts, and Bean. All right, so what is his goal? Well, I guess if they're after him, I guess his goal is to not get killed or something. Well, how can we simplify that? To escape the bad guys, or the pursuers. And again, I haven't seen this, and all I'm and all I know about it is just what I'm reading right here. To escape pursuit or to escape capture. That's the goal. To escape capture. We're taking the whole two-hour-long movie, compressing it down to one sentence. Obviously, this might not be the correct sentence, but I'm just showing you here as this exercise as how it will relate to your homework eventually. Where does it take place? Let's see if we can find where does this happen at? If you know the answer, put it in the chat. So plot. Um, blah, blah, blah. where does this take place at? Voice cast, development. Find that answer. Does this take place in the real world, in a fictional world? Huh? Not quite fully seeing where the world of it takes place, but it seems to be the real world, let's say an exaggerated aspect of the real world. That's the, well, I guess for both. I don't know. Maybe it's taking place in like uh, 1960s England or something. I don't know. But from what little I know about it and saw about it and read here, it feels like the real world with stop motion characters. Why does the main character want their goal? If I'm simplifying it to escape capture, well, why, you know, being captured is not good, so that's why I would want it. But I would say maybe in a sense, protect the family. They mentioned there in the plot, protect his family. That's a reason I don't want to get captured. I want to protect my family. How do they go about it? That one's the longer answer, which is the whole, the whole plot here. But I'm just going to say something like using trickery, like a crafty fox. Trickery. Of course. So I've broken down this movie into the five W's plus H, which then can be further broken down into more ideas, more writing, more details, more scenes with characters and such. This is not the only character, I guess. Maybe there's the you know the the funny uh, daughter that also tags along and says funny things as stuff happens. I don't know, but breaking it down. Let's look at another example. You all said, um, let's do Spirited Away. Spirited Away.
it's been a while since I've seen it, but yes, okay, so Chihiro, that's the main character there. It's their goal. Remind me again, what is the goal of that amazing movie? Uh, something about spirits and the parents abandon you and something, and then you eat a lot of tasty food, something like that. So the point of this is we can take all of these ideas or all of these movies out there try to break them down into these questions to understand uh, big stories into small units or yourself as you do this assignment, but then as you go on to further assignments and then also to uh, outside of this class once you graduate, to have a starting point for creativity. If you can figure out the who, what, when, where, why, and how that you want to accomplish in your movie, video game, short story, whatever, this is a very good starting point as a foundation. So again, to be interactive, if you replied um, on your particular movie over here, so what, what you all replied here now, please type also in the chat answer of one or two of these from your particular movie um tell us you know when and then write your answer one or two of these let's try this for a moment in the chat whatever you responded for your movie pick a few of one of one or two of those five uh, six and write a little bit about that in the chat just to kind of get a sense of an answer let's do that respond in the chat with one of these answers one of these questions as an answer in the chat Right as the answer starts coming in, challenge yourself if you've already answered. If you've already answered now, challenge yourself. How? Answer the how of the movie. If you already did one of these answers, now pick how and see if you can answer how. some of the responses so far in the new mario movie well the main characters plural is mario and luigi i would think is mario however the most main character or are mario and luigi equally the main character so think about that if we have two characters as the main character is there really one of the most main characters and think about that in any other movies and such that you see. Like even like, let's say something like Game of Thrones, which is not a movie. But if you ever saw Game of Thrones, there's so many characters. Is there maybe one or two characters that are the main character, even though we have these 50 characters that we care about? Batman movie, Batman is the main character. Perfect. In the Iron Man movies, it's Tony Stark. In the when of one of these, I guess that's Wally, the world is dead. If you think about how sad that is, but the world is dead. That's in the when sometime in the future. What? To escape capture? I guess that's Mr. Fox. Like that. Okay. So now, when you when you all responded good, now respond on the how. You have to know what the story is about, and then how are they trying to get to that goal? So now respond here. So if the, if the response of... Um, Batman here, what is the, you have to think about, well, what is the main plot of that movie and how is that main character, how are they trying to get to that end result? Think about that for a moment. Now try to, everyone should try to respond as the how do they get to that goal? And this is the hardest one. I am throwing it out to you to give me an answer. 
but it is the hardest one because that's then the whole story, the whole plot beginning to end, which on the next reading we will see, okay, here's another sort of template to follow to get to the how. Right, so on the how, we've got a response so far here. Mario travels with Princess Peach and Toad around the Mushroom Kingdom in order to save Luigi from Bowser and save the world. So the how with friends versus one big villain. We can further simplify it that way. Yeah, the details are important that save from and save the world, but also simplifying the main character along with friends team up against one big villain. Simplified that way, it even sounds like, hey, isn't that what happened in Lord of the Rings? Isn't that what happened in Star Wars? Isn't that what happened in Dune? Yeah, I'm showing you here that even if we have this very specific story about video game characters doing a thing, that's a version of this other movie or this novel or this story. You have your own idea, just like your own idea of drawn characters, it is perfectly valid and fine and recommended to look at examples of drawings and characters that you like. It's also a good idea to look at examples of stories and plots that you like. Obviously not steal what they did. That's a copyright violation, which is illegal. But to get ideas from things that you've seen to do your own version of it. It's another how. By making a suit in a cave with a box of scraps and upgrading it two more times throughout the movie. Iron Man made the suit. Now, the how of that was, was just about getting out of the cave in Afghanistan, I believe, and getting back to the U.S. But then that part of the story is done. Then the rest of the movie isn't Obadiah Stane trying to do stuff. Isn't then the next how of it defeat Stane? So, okay, that first starting part of it, make the, make the suit, then escape back to Stark Industries. But then the rest of the plot of that story continues from there and about his growing sense of being a rich superhero. How about here? By working at the bathhouse and working with Haku to turn her parents back to humans and return back to the real world. Yeah, so there was this whole thing that happened with magic and the parents got turned into pigs. You need to break the curse. So of course you got to work, got to work off the debt. Yep, so work off the debt to release the curse overall. Good. And then the how here, Batman protects Gotham City from the Joker with, with all his tools and crime fighting and detective work. Remember that the Joker's trying to poison everyone and he has to figure out where where is the poison in the in the water supply or the such. So by using detective work also, by using detective work and fists to battle the Joker's minions and save Gotham City. That's the how. In Transformers, they have to destroy the cube so that the enemies won't use it to destroy our world. So we got the Decepticons, I guess, coming to get us. And then the cube is the thing. So you got to destroy the cube to save us. Okay, there we go. So we have some breakdowns of the hows of some of these stories. Good. Um, the details of all of this, let's move on to this next document that I've got in the canvas. The other one is the hero's journey. So if you follow the link there, I'll also put it in the chat for you. Here's another sort of template, a checklist sort of, um, to write a story or even a video game. And it's uh, this fancy concept that was invented in 1949. There had been a version of this idea for many, many years, but there was a famous book, 1949, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, and that then influenced the 20th century and beyond. And even if people don't even know about this, they are doing things from this without even knowing about it. So there is some character, your OC. There's a call to adventure. I'm not going to read all of those at the moment, but there is a sort of a sequence of things. On the opposite side from the very top, there's the very bottom, the worst of it all, the most horrible defeat. How will I come back from it? 
then they resolve it. They come back, but they come back better than before. It's a long article, but the important part, it's all important, but the important part, if you jump over to the section of summary, it's broken down into two versions, the 1949 version and the 2007 version. This is a checklist of 17 or 12 things as a starting point for writing a story, you know, never mind for the assignment. We'll get to that in a moment. But just even when you get beyond this class and you're doing creative things in the future, this is one of many ways to be creative, of course. But when you have everything at your disposal, then you get decision paralysis of where do I even start? Or you go off into the wrong path and such. Well, just like with anything, people have done something like this before. People have thought about this before. People have struggled before. Why not build upon the knowledge and experience of others? Why not start with a template and fill in the details for my version? This is divided into three big ideas, departure, initiation, return. Those movies that you just answered a moment ago, um, you know, the, the Mario movie, we would figure out what is the departure part of the movie, the initiation part, the return. Further breaks down into call to adventure, refusal of the call, etc. There's the simpler version of 12 steps, which is similar. But let's say in the classic one, people often use this uh, in you know the first Star Wars movie, uh, which was... Uh, revolutionary movie, blockbuster, changed cinema, made everyone famous, changed everything. And in there, it was very, very obvious. So if you've seen the original Star Wars, you know, Luke Skywalker, and the original Star Wars, there's a part where there's some adventure, there's a war happening. Um, Luke is uh, sees that this world is happening and he wants to be a part of it. But at the beginning, he's like, I can't do this. I got to... I got to stay here at, at home with uh, Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen and work on the evaporators and such. He refuses the call. He doesn't want to go on the adventure. But then there's some supernatural aid. Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, showing him the ways of the Force, something beyond the reality. There's some sort of threshold. There's some sort of first challenge. I got to get away from my basic experience. This is all that I've known living in this desert to now go off to other planets and fight. The belly of the whale or the, the big challenges that await. Uh, meeting the goddess or the female aspect of the movie, um, temptation, battling the father and all of these things uh, of classic literature. In the more modern one, there's tests, there's alliances, there's your friends and enemies, there's getting to your inner core of a challenge. There's the big ordeal, the final battle. There's a reward from it. Yay, we won the road back. This, on the original Star Wars, this final part is kind of not fully fleshed out. There's the big throne room sequence. They all get their medals, the movie ends. But it doesn't quite, you know, show them as completely like Luke now has grown out of just being a farmer. Has now started his road on the Force. The Empire's got their first defeat. That, that ending kind of is very, very quick on the first Star Wars. And then it's obviously spelled out in the future ones. For your own ideas, for your own movies, games, stories, etc., this is a great blueprint. The beginning of the story, the big action of the story, the conclusion of the story, further broken down. In these subsections. Let's do this in the chat. Um, out of all of these possible, either 17 or 12, out of all of these possible ones of the movie that you selected, Pick one of these things and tell me what it is in the chat. Whatever your movie was, pick on one of these, like, okay, refusal to call. Um, you know, Mr. Fox doesn't want to do the thing, be specific. But pick any one of these. Some of them might not fully make sense at the moment. There's no whale in Star Wars. But what you think it means, try to respond about the movie that you selected do you see any of these that you selected and write your answer in the chat? Do 
think about that for the moment, please, and then respond in the chat. Do you see any of these points in the template in the movie that you selected and write a little bit about it? A sentence or so. Maybe the easy one to identify. Well, what are the what are the enemies? Who's the who's the big bad of your particular movie? Think about your movie that you selected and write a sentence. Well, okay, the enemy in that movie is this. What about other allies? The main character is, has help oftentimes. So think about number six here and then try to respond there. Or uh, maybe is there an obvious point in the movie, in your particular movie, where the main character doesn't want to go on the quest, do the adventure, um, step out of their existence? You know, and a very obvious one of uh, The Lord of the Rings. Uh, you know, the, the first Lord of the Rings, we've got uh, Frodo just living peacefully in the Shire. It doesn't even know there's a whole world out there. Sauron who, you know, just here enjoying Lembus. And then he meets Bilbo during the event and the ring and this and that. There's a whole world and I don't really want to do it. But I don't know. Bilbo says, um, says some encouraging stuff. And he's like, yeah, Sam, let's go. They do the thing. So what is that about the call to adventure on your particular movie? What is the detail of that? So everyone take a moment. This is today's lesson. It's not just sit back and relax. Please do respond in the chat uh, with your thoughts on any one of these. Number six, regarding enemies or antagonists. we got the protagonist. Have you heard of that term? The protagonist, the main character, the good one. Shades of Grey. And then we've got the antagonist, the negative one. So one of the antagonists or enemies in Transformers is Megatron. He wants to destroy the world and make it his. There we go. That's a response there. I'm not sure what the call to adventure is there. Uh, that seems like half a thought there. Please what about the call to adventure of the particular movie selected here? Is the adventure, who says it, or what's the adventure? That sort of thing, a little bit more detail. Question. Back up over here on reward. Have say both the Mushroom Kingdom receive an award and cheers. Friends and family, they then move into the Mushroom Kingdom. Now that it's fully restored. Yeah, that also even ties into the final return part over here. We got the reward that we won, but then the final part over here also ties into reward or return, I mean. So see, a lot of these can blend into each other and relate to each other. So good. The road back to return, return with the elixir. Again, some of these terms are in a generic sort of way, like there's no elixir in Mario. Well, no, but it's like returning with the reward, returning with transformed or different or better than was originally. Look over here regarding enemies in Iron Man. Yes, yeah, Obadiah Stain, uh, and then the terrorists and some other allies like Yinsen. Yeah, Rhodes and Pepper Pot. Good. So good responses there. And then with the Tess and allies here, got some dogs in the wild, maybe other animals. And then, of course, the humans, the lab coats, the scariest parts. So, yep, good responses there as well. The reward here, well, uh, becomes Gotham City's protector. Very good reward from starting off as being an anti-hero for the city, and then at the end, the protector. All right, good. 
So by seeing examples of these movies that you all selected and trying to break it down into their pieces, this will help you in the assignment. Let me look at the assignment, talk a little bit more, and then we'll have time for you to start working. Again, this week is not about drawing and that sort of thing, but it's another um, artistic aspect necessary, whether it is with a movie or a game. Consider that all of this stuff can also be applied to a game. The five W's of the game, who is the main character in the game, and how are they going to the goal? What is the hero's journey in the game? Modern games are very much you control them, but still in an overall linear way, even if you've got a very open world game, you still try to make your own little um, plots in a very open world game. There's still a hero's journey. We'll tie this into the assignment. So let's look at the assignment here. It's going to be an assignment that you turn in only to me compared to other ones where it might be a public assignment. And again, there's going to be these assignments where, okay, do it this way, how I'm asking, and then another assignment for the next week that'll be more open-ended. But in this one, um, okay, so you're going to write, you're going to do some writing in any word processor, Microsoft Word, Apple Pages, Google Docs, Notepad, whatever, some, you're going to do writing somewhere. Question. Say that again. Yeah, Google Docs right Word, Apple, Google. So in any word processor document, you're going to write something, put your name on it. Whoops, I made a mistake here. That's not week two. This is week six. Let me just fix this. So you're going to write in any word, in any, in any text editor. You're going to have these sections. You have this character that you've invented, and I've been asking you in this, in this background, you've been writing a little bit already, so you might be very close to even already finishing this. But in this brand new document, uh, you're going to explain again who your original character is, what do they want to accomplish, when and where does this character take place, this story take place, why are they trying to get to that goal? And how will they do that? So everything that we just talked about right now with Spirited Away or Star Wars or Godzilla, um, now you have to do that for your own character. So yes, all of these, you have to write at least one sentence about your original character and background slash world and start to write one sentence of each of these in your document. Then further in that same document, from the hero's journey, um, you have the three big sections of departure, initiation, return. Pick one, at least one. You can do more if you want. But either from the 1949 column or the, uh, 19, uh, the 2007 column, pick one, at least one of each from the rows, departure, initiation, return, or the 2007 you don't have to do all 17 or all 12. Pick at least one. If you want to do more than that, that's great. It won't affect the grade, but that's better for you when you do the actual work. You're going to pick at least one of each of these from each row. Question. There are three rows. Departure, initiation, return. Pick one in each row. At least. So then, in the same document... As I noted here, pick at least one from the numbered items from each of the rows. Um, and uh, again, so you have 17 possible ones from the first column or 12 from the second. But from each row, you select at least one from either column. And however you, whatever makes sense to you in one sentence or more. If you have selected supernatural aid, okay, write a little bit about how did your character get supernatural aid? What does that fully mean? Read the article. The exact explanation of everything of these is in the article. So read the article. Some of them make sense right away. Some of them might not. So read the article. So I picked that one. 
Then for my main character on the second part, okay, I'm going to pick the ultimate boon. I need to read what that means and then write a little bit about it, one sentence at least. And then the return part, I'm going to pick the, uh, the magic flight and then write how that appeal, how that applied to my character. If instead you went with the column of Vogler over here, okay, I'm going to write a little bit about the ordinary world my character currently exists in. Then I'm going to write what is the what is the ordeal that they have to go through. And then I'm going to write how they returned after their big defeat, battling the bad guy, the, the big band. So all of you have started to put some of these pieces together on the previous assignments. Now you have to codify it into one document. So again, this homework is going to be one document. You have to answer the five W's and the H. Then you pick the three from the hero's journey. Uh, save it as a PDF. How to save to PDF is shown right there. Submit it by the deadline. Next week, Tuesday. And then the grading. Make sure it's a PDF. If it's anything else, you won't get that point. Make sure it's a PDF. Make sure you answered all the five W's and the one H. Make sure you uh, answered, as I said about the the hero's journey sections, write a sentence at least. And um, there's the grading. So obviously I didn't read word for word the hero's journey article or the five W's. You should, you should take a moment. The first thing to do, go back and read as much as you can about both of those articles, the five W's and the hero's journey, then start writing. And then that'll be due on Tuesday. We're going to have a little bit of lab time today. Remember, there's the lab time tomorrow if you're on campus. If you can do this from home or elsewhere, this is not requiring Adobe Animate. It's just writing. And as I noted somewhere over here, whatever you, your idea is right now, I said here, whatever your idea is right now, you don't have to stay with it the whole semester. If you change your, your, your mind next week or two weeks from now, that's fine. This is fine for turning in the assignment, and then you can change it as time goes on. That's fine. But we need to start with something to then move forward. So just because you, you decided something on week six doesn't mean you have to keep following it on week 12. Most people do. Most people refine it or add to it. Sometimes people start over if you get another idea, but be careful because there's deadlines. And if you always start over, then you can fall behind if you never make a decision. So that'll be the assignment for this week, some writing. And if you're kind of okay with it, those of you that answered seven, eight, nine, ten 10, should not be too much of a problem. But some of you that answered one, two, three, or four, or five, whatever, you have to work a little bit, but you can always ask help from myself, from the assistants, uh, from people you trust. Uh, that'll be this week. Quick reminder again, whenever you need help outside of class, obviously you can contact me via the inbox. But remember, we also have the assistants. Not only do they help you when, when you're here in class, but they can also help you from home. And you can ask for their help by contacting them via the inbox, Canvas inbox. Remember? So you can go and send a message. When you send a message, you can also can also, when you ask for help, not only send it to me, the instructor. Remember, you can also put in here our our um, your classmates. Uh, not your classmates, your uh, assistants. Or oh, it's not showing up at the moment, but remember we've got the assistants, which I noted over here somewhere. Somewhere I noted over here. So remember, via the inbox, you can also contact the assistants need help outside of class at a reasonable time, not at midnight before the deadline, you know, during reasonable times throughout the week, you can also contact them. They've also, they were also students of these various classes. They also went through what you all went through. They also did their own versions. They're also creative. 
You've also seen what other students have seen in previous semesters. It might be less scary to ask them than the mean old instructor. So be sure to ask them as well. Uh, there's always help to get. So we'll end up at this point. If you want to stay and work, you can do so. If you want to work at your own, you can do so there. This is week six, starting to think about plots by using the five W's and the hero's journey.